What's up guys, Enchant Reese here and in today's episode I'm going to bring you guys a quick update on the 10 gallon IM Nuvo. As you can see I got some livestock in there now. I have these two clownfish that may look familiar. They're actually from my main display tank. And the reason that I have them over here was because the six line wrasse was actually picking on them. And this smaller guy was sitting on the power head. It looked like he was on the bridge of death. I thought he was going to die, but so I moved him over here. I allowed him to rest for a little while, started feeding him a little more, kept an eye on him. And it seems that he's doing a lot better. As you can see, he's more playful. But yeah, he's doing better. So I have these two clownfish here now. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them back in the main display tank. Maybe I'll just allow them to get a little bigger. And once they're big enough to actually stand up for themselves, I'll, I might just move them over there. Or uh, another reason, maybe if I add some of this euphelias down here, kind of like a frog spawn or something that they can actually host because whenever I had them in the main display, they wouldn't host anything. They were kind of just sitting in the corner. So they didn't really have any protection from the six line Raz. It was just kind of picky on them. So maybe if I get them to host an actual coral, maybe I'll just move them over there. But as of right now, I haven't had any luck. And then I have this small little frog spawn down here that kind of fell off the rock. But yeah, I'll be gluing that today. I will also be adding some more of these coral frags. They are primarily zoanthids and I think I have a Duncan in there. And I think that's it. Just some zoas and a Duncan. So I'll be gluing those here in a bit. As I had mentioned, I want this to be kind of a zoa garden, zoa mushroom garden, maybe a few euphelias, some of these kind of more stony corals. I guess just a little bit of everything, but primarily zoanthids and mushrooms. So I'm gonna be adding a few other zoas today to continue the colonies. Right now I, I only have that pink diamond right there in the middle. Also have these, I believe they're called Aussie blues. I'm not sure. Then I have a few other ones. I believe it's the LA Lakers and I guess that's it. I do have a small OG bounce mushroom right here in the at the end of this small little cliff right here. But yeah, everything seems to be doing good. I'm still having some issues with the algae. It still gets covered in algae after like four days if I don't clean it. The glass is kind of just filled with a bunch of algae everywhere. So yeah, I started adding some carbon. So um, I believe it's like, um, I don't know, so, some other material, but yeah, it hasn't been working out so good yet. It's, and the sand bed was also covered with algae. So I added this guy, The I believe it's a fighting conch. He's been doing a pretty decent job at keeping the sand bed clean for the most part. He's also getting on top of the rocks. The only thing is I'm worried is that he, he might run out of food and starve or something. So I've been adding algae every once in a while, kind of that dried algae in the aquarium just to make sure that he's eating. And if he's not eating it, well, I guess it just turns into detritus and whatever. I guess he eats that, but yeah. And the aquarium is doing all right right now. It's throwing some random crap all over the place, but I don't know what it is. Anyways, yeah, just just sit back and I'm going to start gluing these zoas and I'll update you guys when I have them on the rock.
Alright guys, so I just finished gluing the Zoas and the Duncan onto its onto the rock structure. As you can see, I have the Duncan over here. I also glued the frog spawn that was on the floor and the tiny little piece of frog spawn as well. Let's see right there. So they're back on the rock. Hopefully they start growing out. Uh, as far as the Zoas, they're kind of scattered everywhere, somewhere at the top. Somewhere here in the bottom. And yeah, they're pretty much everywhere. If you notice, take a look at this guy. My 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 snail here. It's got a whole bunch of these weird strands on them. Not really sure what they are. Are they tube worms? I don't know. I just started growing a whole bunch of these. So anybody can give me any information on what those things are. Are they harmful? So I could take them off. But... Yeah, the coral placement went pretty good. Scattered them everywhere so we could completely take over this rock. I know it's probably going to take a few months, but yeah, I'm slowly going to keep adding more zoanthids so they could take over the whole rock structure. I have this small plate down here that I was planning on creating kind of like an isolated zoo garden, but it's just sitting empty, so I'll probably just end up taking that out. And yeah, besides that, just want to give you guys a quick update on the aquarium to show you what was happening and why I have these guys over here. Kind of glad I moved them over here. I'm pretty sure if I would have given them like another day or two, this guy, at least the small one, would have probably ended up dead or something. But yeah, it looks pretty happy as far as I can tell. But yeah, besides that, if you guys liked the video, go ahead and subscribe, give it a like, share it with your friends, do all that. And besides that, I'll see you all next time. Peace.